Okay, now that I got this dumb thing to start recording, um, I have to record this twice because the first time I recorded was over 15 minutes and YouTube sucks because it doesn't accept that kind of stuff. But anyway, I decided to go outside, obviously, as you can tell by the complete and utter darkness. I didn't want to wake anyone up, so I'm going to try not to yap as much in this because I don't want it to be over 15 minutes again. But I decided I would show um, all the Pokemon that I have in my Pokemon Black based off of my series. So let's try to get this done before the 15 minute mark. Um, anyway, Versailles being obviously not a Rayquaza, but She's a black dragon. I couldn't even get a shiny cheat because all of them destroy the game. But yeah, she's one of the main characters who goes under Dialga and all that wonderful stuff. And Dialga himself being the ruler of time, duh. Um, he's a primary character in the Messenger of Time and becomes primal later on. Those of you who read will know that. Um Araya, who doesn't know him, he's me, my main character. Uh duh. Has Roar of Time being his status as Guardian of Time. So all that stuff. Gerald being the previous Temporal Messenger before Vincent and whatnot. He failed obviously, so he doesn't retain his Temporal status, doesn't have a of time. Um, Hector being Vincent, or Vincent's uh, brother, he's hardly mentioned in the story until the legacy of silver and it's only really seen um, at the time of the fire that took Vincent's parents so he becomes a main character later on won't talk about him yet Palkia being a main character in um, Darkness of Dimension and a side character in The Guardian of Silverstone he is the ruler of space, obviously, and the primary cause of Lucas's task, who is the spatial messenger, and later becomes the keeper of space. He is a main character in practically all the stories, so most of you would probably know about him. Last you know, being another main character from the story. He's kind of a regular Latios other than the golden um, streak on his wings. And he's also the primary reason that Araya got his Latios form. So, yeah. Larissa, also a main character, and Lashino's mate. Um, I hope there are not bugs out here. But she's kind of a regular Latias, other than the fact that she has a silver streak on her wings. Reshiram being one of the main characters in the Legacy of Silver. So I don't really talk about his role yet until that story is written. Flarina being Selenry's character and the daughter of Serenity, who is Araya's mate, and part of the White Legacy under Reshiram, so she contains light powers and whatnot. Um, Serathinas is Serenity's mother, and she's got a pretty um, strict and rash personality, even though she means well. You all can probably tell that I got a lisp, so 
my S's are like weird. Isaira being Seraphina's mother and mainly a healer and not a fighter, so she's got a lot of healing moves other than the primary move that all of them have, blue flare. Um, also shadow being Serenity's darkness and was once a bad character during the messenger of time. She becomes good later on in the legacy of silver. So, all that stuff. Talk about her later. Embryo being Array's original life um, back in 1663 to 1701 is the main character of the game that I'm making, The Messenger's Shadow. Um, he possesses white powers, even though that's not the type in this game, so I just gave him Psychic. Flero, Flero being um, Umbrio's brother in The Messenger's Shadow, he's a fire-type Umbreon. So, yeah. Um, Lucretia being Flero's mate in the story, in the game, whatever. I'm kind of tired, it's like 2.30 in the morning. But anyway. Glacialis, most of you know about her since I roleplay her a lot, but she's becoming a main character in Darkness of Dimension and whatnot. Also another form of Araya. So yeah. Lysida being Glacialis' sister and another main character in Darkness of Dimension. Well, not really main, but main character in Legacy of Silver. Won't talk about her yet though. Um Erthos being the Dragonite that um either um Samuel or Chris of uh, Vincent's parents had, although he didn't really go by that name in the story. Um, Sierra being a Flygon, also belonging to Vincent's parents before they died in the fire, and also didn't have that name yet. Ignea being um, the daughter of the Salamence that Lucas befriended in the story, and she becomes a main character kind of later on in the story. Um, Melissa being Vincent's um, sister, one of them, and contains partial temporal powers. Um, she died later on in The Messenger of Time and comes back later in the Legacy of Silver as Quilava. Won't give a reason yet, but if you read The Messenger of Time, you might get a hint of why. Silva being um, Melissa's partner in explorations in the story. So I won't really talk about her yet, but she happens to be the Chikorita that they met in the Dusk Realm during the Messenger of Time. Obviously evolved into a bay leaf. So, next box, since this is the end, if I can find that B button. Um, but yeah. Zekrom is kind of a main character, kind of not. But he becomes the main antagonist in the White Legacy, which is Serenity's story, 16 years after the Legacy of Silver. So, no more spoilers. I might not make it in the 15 minute mark, I'm already at 9.30. But Veros, being the leader of the Black Clan, Vicious personality has existed since the Messenger's Shadow. So he's lived for about 300 years. Um, William being the high elite of the spiritual council. 
and the main reason that the entire war started. But, yeah. I'm gonna try to hurry this up since I only have five minutes left. Avistus being Arias Darkness and one of the primary uh, kind of enemies in the story. I'm going between red and green. I'm dying. But anyway, I won't really explain him yet because he's not written in the story yet. Um, James being the one sent as the peace messenger is a main character in pretty much all the stories. So most of you should know him. But yeah. Slade being a Hydra gym and a very twisted member of the Black Clan who was later kicked out for his treachery, being that he attacks anyone and everyone, friend or foe. Kind of reason enough fits the personality of a Hydra gym. Um, Lou being a main character in Darkness of Dimension. He was the previous Temporal Messenger before Gerald, so I won't talk about him very much yet. Um, Nox being the Entrancer, well, Trans Mage actually. Um, he can pretty much control people by gazing into their eyes. Won't really talk about him that much yet, but he's a main character in Darkness of Dimension. Christina being Vincent's other sister, and she gets captured by the Spiritual Council later on in the, um, the Messenger of Time. Comes back later as the Dark Latios and whatnot. Piscio is being Christina's son. No information about him yet because he's pretty much only a main character in Serenity's story. Alexa, kind of a random character. I don't really know where she falls in, but I just made her out of nowhere. Maybe I'll make her a main character. Who knows? Um, Umbros being a distant nephew of Umbrio and a distant grandson of Flero and um, Lucretia. So he's the leader of the Umbros Arsena, which is Latin for Pack of Shadows. Fangus, Otro, and Encendro also being members of the Umbers Arsena. Brianna being Jack and James's sister who died in the Messenger of Time. Comes back later as a Sky Shaman, but she's in the box, so she doesn't really retain that form. Anyway, Arceus being kind of a main character in Darkness of Dimension, the cause of the Spiritual Council. Celestia, the princess of Anima, and Simera, the soulbinder of Anima Palace, Celestia's cousin. Saros is supposed to be a shiny Mew, but I don't have a shiny code that works. He's the servant of the Temperate Archipelago. Vincent being the main character of the Messenger of Time. Takes on this form from human during the time of the Dust Realm. Venterso being the Earth Messenger, one of Vincent's tasks. Arcos being the White Messenger, Vincent's first task. Um, Christine being the leader of the legendary pack. She is one of the characters in The Guardian of Silverstone, helps Araya during the Great War. And Nigel being a lost character and Serenity's departed friend of the legendary pack. He's a Fire Mightyana, only mentioned like once during The Guardian of Silverstone. But that's pretty much all my Pokemon characters. I should probably stop this recording before it reaches the 15 minute mark. So, yeah. Bye.